They didn't want me to go full string right away. They wanted me to ease into it. So I did uh, a little bit of scaly, all the individual, and um, the scout work. So, And then tomorrow, I talked to Coach B already. I'm full go tomorrow. It's going to happen, huh? Yeah, it's going to happen. So what were the corrections, um, you think, maybe for the first unit from the scrimmage? Uh, you know, it was it was just a lot of little corrections. It was just people – it was mas- – Basically, everyone has to do their job, and there's just little corrections and fitting the defense that you just have to have a scrimmage-like atmosphere to find and see the holes that need to be fit and where they come and where the problems come from. Um, does he have a little dynamo like um, Drew in him, man? What do you see out of that? <laughs> Honestly, Grant's uh, pretty different than uh, Drew, I'd say. Uh, he's a lot more calm and cool and collected, but he, he's definitely a competitor like Drew. Uh, He's a heck of a middle linebacker. From. Just, there was a lot of give and take out there. I mean, the passing game worked pretty well against the defense, but there were a lot of run stops coming out. There were so many of those running backs that had lost yards in plays. Talk about overall how you felt about it. Uh, you know, overall, I think the defense did good. Like I said, there was, there was corrections that needed to be made, but you had to have a game situation to see those things and get in the film room and watch them with the coaches. And I think that we did that this afternoon, and we'll continue to do it throughout the, day, the rest of the day to make those corrections. I think there were like nine sacks. That you Right, just like for them, it's a new defense for all of us, so they just want to see the pressures and see the things that could beat the pressures, try to do the different pressures against different runs, different passes, to see where the holes were in the defense and just overall see how they were going to work. SEC media days, anytime you get around media outside of Arkansas, especially they're very skeptical about being able to make that switch to the three four work the first year. Almost everybody you talk to will say it will take a year, take two years. Uh, how do you feel about that after being exposed to it for a while? Uh, I, I don't see that happening at all. I think we're ready to play right now. Um, I mean, we had it all spring. It was definitely a learning curve there, but it's, it's not much different. It's still the outside linebackers are still just basically defensive ends that stand up and just set the edge, and then just the two middle inside guys. And it's, we play, we basically run the same coverages. It was just a little bit of the learning curve that we had to get over the hump. But I think now we're ready to play, and I I don't see that drop off at all. How do you personally like the, the, the aggressiveness of it? So out of the three, four, more aggressive, more pressure. How do you feel about that? Uh, I, I really I enjoy it. I think it's more downhill, more uh, attack for sure. We don't have uh, very many pressures in. We're still we're still trying to get our main defensive calls down, but I think we're definitely going to dial it up some this year. And the way it was described to me is that there are endless things you guys can do. You know, it won't be the same every week. What was it like? I mean, there'll be pressure for specific opponents. Right. They, I mean, like you said, the possibilities are endless. Um, Coach Rhodes is, they're up there every day, you know, trying to think of new defense and new uh, pressures to run, and it's just a day-by-day process with this new defense, so. What's he been like as defensive uh, I, I love Coach Rhodes, you know, he brings that energy every day, he expects the most out of you each and every day, and he's going to get it.